welcome guys so in last session we have seen hard assault right and we have seen at any point of time if my test script is failing it is not going to continue next step and it is jumping to next test case right okay now we'll see soft assert okay so soft assert collects error during the test okay soft assert does not throw an exception when an assert fails and would continue with the next steps after the assert statement so this is all about theory part let's go to the practical and it will be very much clear for you so let's go to this so as of now this is hard assert let's jump to the soft assert so I have created one simple class soft assertion in that I have created object of soft assert so soft assert is a class inside test ng okay inside test ng okay that we can use we can create object of soft assert and then we can call the method present inside you know soft assert so simple I have created object by using new keyword given the reference of soft assert okay then I have taken simple one string by you know class name you can give any reference okay is equal to soft assertion and I have given one test test using soft assertion then I am using now I'm not using you know hard assert hard assert how we are using assert dot assert to okay I'm not creating any other object but now for soft assertion I need to create object of soft assert class to access assert you know soft assert methods so I have called assert true method by using what soft assert reference right so soft assert dot assert true and both are true means both will be what pass perfect now again soft assert dot assert equals and I'm comparing both so soft assert, soft assert and soft assertion so both strings are different both strings are different so at this point it should fail simple because both strings are different again soft assert dot assert equals class name and soft assertion so class name is what soft assertion only means soft assertion is equal to soft assertion means it should pass and here I am writing you know last statement get executed yes fine let me comment this as of now okay so as of now I have how many assertion three assert I have okay true true that is pass this is some uh, soft assert and soft assertion so both strings are different so assertion will be failed here soft assertion and soft assertion so it will be pass and my last statement will get execute successfully so let me execute this let me execute this and I'll explain you with practical so see my test case got passed my test case got passed even though one step is failed even though if one assertion is getting failure my test case you know getting pass so that is not a good way okay so mainly soft assertion will go if we have multiple validation multiple assertion if we have then we can go for soft assertion and again this is this you can use as per your requirement okay how you want to use this so most probably we will use hard assertion but as per requirement you can use soft assertion as well okay so let me use this so as of now even my test steps is getting fail it is not getting aborted like how it was in hard assertion right in hard assertion if assert is getting fail it was not going to the next line but in soft assertion if you can, you can see here if even it is getting fail it's going to the next line then it is going to the next line and this statement is getting executed if you see last statement gets executed correct so all the statements is getting executed in soft assertion perfect okay now I have multiple assertion now I want if any of the assertion is getting fail I want to I want to fail this test cases I want to fail the test cases in this case we have one method called assert all assert all method which you can call again with the same reference so I will just decomment this so soft assert dot assert all so when I will call this method now if any of the test steps is getting failed it will still it will execute all the steps but at last it will execute this and it will verify if any of the test steps is getting failed so it will mark the test case it will mark these test cases as a failed 
so let me execute yes so now this time if you see my test case is getting failed because I have used assert all method perfect so this is all about soft assertion okay now just quick one more note so if I have two tests inside one class so I'll make this as a two so even though if I'll write here same now this is suppose same soft assertion only means now this should also pass I'll use assert all also so if assert all means all the test cases getting passed right this is also passed this is also passed this is also passed and this is just a SOPA statement which I have given in a test case and assert all means all pass means this test case should pass okay and in this test if you'll see so one is pass then here it is fail then pass assert all then it will find one fail so it it will mark this test cases as a fail but let me execute and explain you so if I'll execute if you'll see here so let me go to console you can see you can see let me go to this okay I think I didn't save it let me save it so let me execute let me execute okay perfect so if you'll see here two test cases is getting failed okay last statement get executed last statement get executed so in both cases last statement means all the steps is getting executed but since this is this test case is getting passed even though my test ng you know mark that test case is also failed if you'll see I have got you know how many test cases fail two two test cases and both are failed even though one is passed right one is passed still it is getting failed why because we are using the same reference of soft assert here only we are getting soft asset reference so if one test case test case will fail subsequent test case also will fail in this case so if you want to use this please use inside the test okay so this is all about soft assertion so uh, that's all about soft and hard assert let's go to the theory part if I missed anything so let's go to this part so I will be sharing this document for you so if you have still any doubt you can reach out to me by this mail id pankajonlinetutor at gmail.com thank you for watching